Master Witcher, uh, spare me a wee moment. Witcher? What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Thanks, Chanfinelli. We'll call it even. One last thing. I'd like to apologize for the whole minging kerfuffle. Richard. some nastiness to me. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And... I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, B.B. This wall, I think. have been an alchemist at one time.
dare not down some wreck is a man whose wife's like a B.B., know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff, though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Ever play Gwent, BB? Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years, but that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Huh. Sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir, but only in action. A round or two, perhaps? May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Not really. You choose.
congratulates you on your victory. Shall we continue playing? Maybe later. Got something I need to do right now. As you wish, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables, or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I've finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seats in two days' time. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Feels like by investing a bit of coin I could make the house more functional. Indeed. Momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word. And I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah, the sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Fine. What are the racks? Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive, is my estimation. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. Some of those pieces would look great on display here. I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Shall I order new stands at once, sir? Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made, and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid armor upon a subpar stand. By this time tomorrow, they shall be ready to display your finest finds. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? That's all for now, BB. Thanks.
just take to work as they take to dance and drink. You smell that. Oh, The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Yes, a face no ointment could help. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. Saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our tourney is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Ceres on Crytek, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero. The venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth. Marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. Thanks for the offer, but not really in the mood to play. A shame. The mood has little to do with a real man's performance. The tourney's yet to begin, so should you change your mind, 
you know where to find me. And in a bid to coax you into reconsidering, I shall give you the cards for a core Skellige deck. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Thanks. So long. No ultimates could help. Ooh, oh! Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. She leak at shone in its eyes your blows. Sent her few times like her days it will flow. Even should be on walls by the Still to bust your bum. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah! It seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to, uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guard, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <laughs> well, that was my grandpapa, dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own, take them, save some coin. I could, surely. 
They too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasesta what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Sublime! We've a deal! Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me, and marked out their ranges on the map. Good plan. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we have to await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime, be my guest at my fire, sir. In fact, I'd be delighted to hear some tales of Witcher life. Well, the wide and wild world beckons. The light now is perfect. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours. <laughs> Your chest. It's delivered. So emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective, and oppressively so. I wish to admire the wild, preserve not what's been killing in a bit of misguided fear. For my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? I do not wish to be something super. You, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. They have the utmost importance to me. around here hunting stay close hunting. keep your eyes peeling like a bear but one request witcher avoid bloodshed if at all possible
hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Otherwise, brilliant, brilliant, you freed a superb brilliant, you freed for call witches heartless. This will put the light in that. Prepare Stysomex upset the animals. Better get out of here. I cannot abide, folks. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things wine, nature. Painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous, with all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. How about here? I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps, but it offers no view whatsoever. Hmm. Fine, we'll keep looking. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Send some through the ground. Try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Excellent day for capture. 
Thank you. Truly magnificent, that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? Why? My daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. How to be able to track the flock? Witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Getting close. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready? Use your magic, Witcher. I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, 
Time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? There was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear Count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. And if I were to put up my wife as surety... Hey! Over here, please! Ah, if only I was here. Heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did. For we're neck deep in trouble. Of the spider kind. Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge. The size of pigs or dogs. Black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm-hmm. Not talking about spiders, then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. Not far now. We find ourselves a hair from agreeing. Not far now, we find ourselves a hair from agreeing. I knew we would agree terms. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Sammy Riggs landing.
bottles are ready to blow. Any tidings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. <laughs> Was looking to buy something. Maybe sell something too. trade. Been at it for a while? Not terribly long, to be candid. I apprenticed to be an alchemist, but proportions were never my strong suit. So I took to trading in wines. More pleasant, I must say. One drinks on the job, and no one ever complains. Makes sense. And the world's always a bit more bearable on a buzz. Time I got back on the path. So long.
Ah, what now?